Okay, so to save time, I've already put on some primer potion and a eyeshadow base. And this is just, what is it? Wet n Wild Idle Eyes, just a purple one, and I applied it all over the lid and into the lower lash line. And so the first thing we're going to do, after that anyways, is I'm going to pack this um, shimmery, almost royal purple color right here. So packing this on. And really, any dark royal purple will do. Alright, and then I'm going to take a fluffy brush to not only blend that out, but also to add some more color on. And we're kind of making a gradient effect. And I'm going to take this light pinkish purple color right there and starting from the outside I'm going to blend it out oh. and then I'm going to take another eyeshadow brush and I want to go into this dark purple almost brown And I'm just going to pull that into kind of the outer corner of my eye, just to deepen it just a little bit. Almost lining my upper lash line with that. Just pulling it up. Take a little bit more and then bring that down into the lower lash line. Maybe about halfway. Go back to my fluffy brush, get a little bit more of this pink. Oops, tap off the extra and blend over that. Okay. In all that blending, that lid color we started out with got a little bit faded. So I'm just gonna go back and tap a little bit more of that on. Now to highlight the inner corner, I'm just going to take a little brush. This is actually a concealer brush that ran out of clean brushes. Anyways, I'm going to take this lightest purple right here. And then take that into just the inner corner of the eye. Blend it down just a bit. I'm going to line the rest of your lower lash line with this, meeting the dark purple. Just to highlight the inner corner a little bit more, I'm going to take NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil and Cottage Cheese. Just put some right in the corner. You're going to take that same shade of light purple or you can take a iridescent white, really sh uh, sheer shimmery white. I'm just going in with a fluffy brush like this, and that's going into the brow bone. Okay, and that's it for the eyeshadow. Pretty simple. Alright, so next, I'm taking my um, black liner and then I'm going to tight line both the upper and lower lashes.
after that, I'm just going to apply a very thin line of black liner on my upper lash line. You can use a uh, liquid liner if that's a little bit easier. But since I've got this pencil in my hand already, I'm just going to use this. The thinner, the better. You really want to, don't want to take away from the eyeshadow. Actually, I can't see that well right now. I grab my mirror. Okay, and I'm just gonna wing it out just a tiny bit at the end. Okay, and then I'm just gonna apply a little bit on the bottom. Not too much. You're almost just bringing that um, color in the waterline down. Alright, so I'm just going to curl my lashes and put on some mascara and meet you guys right back. Okay you guys, so this is a finished look. Um, I'll have... Let me do a close up really quick. I'll have pictures and stuff up on my blog and also in this video somewhere. And let me just tell you guys really quick what I use on the rest of my face. Um, for foundation, I use L'Oreal New True Match Foundation in Neutral 6. Um, I don't usually step away from my Smashbox, but I've been liking this one a lot so far. I'll probably do a re review on that when I've used it enough times. And also, just to set the foundation, I've used... Um, the Smashbox pressed powder. You don't really, I don't think this is for sale anymore, so just the pressed powder side and light. Um, for bronzer, I didn't really do much contouring, but just to put a little bit all around my face under my jawline, I used the one by Stila. It's in shade 01. Very, very light, just to give a little bit of color. Um, for blush, I uh, use Milani Glimmer Strips. Just the, let me show you guys. The top three brightest colors. Just put a little bit of, on the apple of my cheeks and blended it back. Um, for lips, I used one of Maybelline's Many Color Sensational Lipsticks. This one is on the Mauve 445. Just a very, very sheer wash of this on my lips. And just to make my lips look a little bit more pouty, I put some of this um, Buxom Lips Lip Gloss by Bare Essentials. Just a little bit here and here. Um, oh yeah. And to make the foundation stuff look a little bit less powdery and look less like makeup, I just sprayed my face all over with this Evian spray. And... Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the look and that you'll try it sometime soon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.